If the trolley is heading towards five people, do you pull the lever and kill one instead? We'll be answering that question and many more later in the video, but before that, we're gonna check out some equally weird websites. Like this one that just has a bunch of weird optical illusions. This is a duck that is spinning in more than one direction. It might look like it's turning left, but if you look at it hard enough, you can then make it turn right as well. You kind of just have to like look at it for a long period of time. My duck hasn't turned yet. Oh, there we go. It just turned for some reason. Now it's going the other way. Okay, that is so weird. This website also has a bunch of other obstacle illusions like this, which has a bunch of dots. If you look at any of the specific dots, the other dots disappear. Why? I don't know. All right, this one really messes with your head. Okay, stare into the middle of it for about 20 to 30 seconds. And then if you look at something else, you'll see the effect transfer, okay? All right, I hope you've been looking for the last like 10 seconds or so. We'll keep going for like another, another 10 seconds. Just keep staring into that. Stare in, stare into its soul. Oh, my eyes are getting really blurry right now. Keep going, keep going, keep going, and look away. Whoa! I'm looking at a coffee cup and it's doing weird things. Now on this website, you get to um, set up your own little orb farm. Now, I, what does it mean? I don't really know, but we'll find out. So we can add different substrates in here, which is, which is good. Um, we can add a bit of stone, maybe some wood. Uh, yep. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Glass? Do we need to add glass in here? Okay. Um, algae. Super important, I guess. I don't know what- yeah, we just got glass in there. Um, and then... Grass? More grass? Okay. Then... Daphnia? Are they... I, I don't know what they do. I'm guessing we also need to put water in here at some point. Bacteria? Fish? Goldfish. I think they're dying as soon as I put them in. How do I put water in here? Oh, okay, water. There we go. Now we can fill this thing up. Oh, what are those? Okay, we'll put some fish. Okay, now we can put fish in here. So we can basically just create like a tank. This is actually really cool. An orb farm. And wait, the fish are growing. Can I just keep adding goldfish in? Or is that the maximum of goldfish? And then, okay, this is a CO2 level up here as well, which I guess is like the health. Oh wait, algae is bad. We want bacteria, I think, to eat it. Or what is it? What even is Daphnia? I'm not really sure. I think I, I think my tank is about to, um, yeah, it's bad things are happening. I think I've done a poor job. All of this bacteria here is, yeah, we're about to go into the bad CO2 levels. I think my goldfish are gonna die. This one's just stuck. What if I like cover this one in stone? Yeah, I've just trapped it in and it died. Okay. Anyway, that's my orb farm. Pretty cool, huh? Now this painting is literally never ending. It just keeps zooming and then stuff just keeps happening. Like there's a little robot there and it just kind of just keeps going. So what you think looks really far away is soon going to be absolutely huge, basically. But yeah, this is, this is weird look there's, there's someone golfing over there all right now we're heading into our forest i mean this is going on a wild ride right now and there's little swings and stuff and to think that this was just a tiny like pixel dot on the screen a second ago oh look at that there's a creepy looking child okay keep it going there it is what is that actually i don't even okay the, the scene just gets weirder and weirder and now we've got some creepy trees you can kind of roughly see where it starts to transition into a new image but it's still really smart how it's been done and look there's a bottom up there <laughs> bottom there we go still slowly zooming in and there's a tower over here yeah i mean i think if you leave it this thing is just going to go on for absolutely ever but still really cool all right so this website you got to use the buttons to change colors drench the board with a single color to win okay Dr oh okay so you switch them to different colors you sort of like eat eat the colors up okay i mean i've done a bunch of like incorrect moves already i've just realized but this is interesting how, how would I ever do this in 13 moves, though? 
That's what I want to know. All right, let's just see how far we can get with this. Uh, I guess like the further it can kind of spread, the better. Um, okay, we need to try and connect to these other purples. Oh, this is actually kind of fun. Okay. Ooh, we're spreading. We're spreading. Yeah, I mean, I've pretty much run out of moves now. But I feel like if we're tactical, we might be able to do a better job with this. Okay, let's try one more time. This is actually really quite good. So yeah, I have to switch them correctly. I'm guessing I'm starting in the top left-hand corner. Oh, and I can reset to get like a favorable start, I guess. Okay, so let's go for yellow. Oh, I started in the wrong place. All right, this is a good start here. So we're going to go yellow and then this color. Look, look how big we are already. And then pinkish. And then... Hmm. We're going to go with a blue and then a lighter blue and then a red and then a lighter blue and then a green. We're going to pick up a lot of greens there. Then a purple, pink. We've got to make sure we are hitting all the colors as well. Okay, where do we... Where are we going to get the best penetration here probably red and then lightish blue again and then we'll pick up a yellow green pink oh kind of doing good kind of doing good blues red yellow green okay we got to make sure we hit most of the colors here uh okay 10 moves left i think we should be able to do this probably very pink That'll take most of the pink off the board, or I will need to pick up a pink again, probably. You gotta get tactical now. That won't get all the reds. Can we get all the blues? We can't get all the blues. Can we get all the yellows? We can get all the yellows. Now we can get all the blues. Then we can get... All of the reds. Then all of the greens. And we did it! We even had some moves left over. That was actually really fun. So this is called gravity points. And I think I basically just like place down a gravity point. Which creates like an absolute chaotic mess. But then I think we can slowly create orbits with this. Some say this is even how planets and stuff happened. Do I create more? Oh, whoa. And those they bring themselves into each other. Oh, okay. We can make a bunch of them. Whoa, look at that. We can move it around. Oh, wow, when we move it around, different things happen. And then stuff's getting like sucked in. Whoa, that is super cool. Oh, whoa, it all exploded. What the heck? That is cool. So I guess that is um, science. That looks, that looks healthy. Ooh, and explode! Whoa! Look at all the bits now. They're like flying in a massive orbit. And then as you get the orbit is stronger. That's awesome. All right, uh, anyway. So this person actually doesn't exist. This is a website that creates AI images of people. And then every time you refresh, you get a new one. Wow, that looks really real. I can barely even tell like anything that looks off with that. Okay, that one, their eyes look maybe a little bit different and the teeth look different, but that's still pretty impressive for an AI image. The hair on this one looks a bit odd there. And I don't know what's going on with the teeth, but you'd definitely be able to use these as like a profile picture. And yeah, each time you refresh your... Oh, what is going on here? That is... That's a bit cursed. But yeah, you could just keep going through them. None of them... They all look very different. Okay, there's a little child. And then you can just like speed run your way through this. Although it's kind of weird how their eyes are always in the exact same position. That's kind of creepy. Oh, okay. This person's just not even looking. So this is cool. You can basically take different elements and make things from it. So we just, what was that? We got air and which created pressure. Then we get earth and that makes stone. And then I think if you just like keep creating things like that, we can get metal and then we can use those things that we've made maybe oh a boiler okay this is a bit of an odd um thing that we've invented but uh what if we try and make like uh mud okay uh what about if we put some more water in there nope what about stone clay okay but what can we do with clay not that air okay mist okay 
Wind. Uh, I guess at some point we'll be able to make like a planet or something. Why can't we put clay in the... Oh, we can heat up clay and we got a brick. What if we build a house? A wall? Okay, with a wall we get... There we go. We built a house. We built a house in this game. This is kind of weird, but it is cool. Then can we... What happens if we... Oh, a windmill. Can we burn the windmill down? No, we can't. I don't know why I wanted to do that. Okay. So this is an actual map of our universe uh, focused on our sun. What can we do with it? Oh, whoa. Whoa. Now, our sun's a bit bright. If someone could maybe turn the sun down a bit, that'd be really good. Oh, okay. Wait, no, that's not... Okay, that's our sun. So if we then zoom out from our sun, we can see we've got Earth over here. God, so she's pretty far away, but that's like barely zoomed out, which just kind of shows how crazy. Look, then we become like a dot in the distance, and then there's like a a whole bunch of other dots, and yeah, it gets quite complex from there. Yeah, we we are really just tiny ants in this world, aren't we? Wow, 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 wow. That really puts things into perspective. Anyway. Yeah, that doesn't make you feel small at all, huh? Now, this website will solve all of your problems. If you basically click this button, it will take you to a useless website. So, click that, and we get a maze, which we can then complete, I guess? We're going to complete a maze now? All right, fine. Let's go. Let's do this. This is going to be easy. I'm coming for you. What is that? An apple in there somewhere? You're going to be mine, apple. going to be mine. Soon. And there we go. I think that's pretty good. But yeah, if you're ever bored, this is like the perfect thing to click. What the heck? You've been honoring the pug for two seconds. You are assistant of the pug. What is... Yeah, there's some definitely some weird stuff. And now it is time for the absurd trolley problem. A trolley is heading towards five people. You can pull the levers to divert to the other track, killing one person. What do you do? And in this situation, I... Look, I'm not pulling a lever to do anything. I wasn't responsible for this. Splat. And most people disagree. Right. Well, moving on. If you could pull the lever to kill slightly less people, what would you do? Absolutely do nothing. I don't want to be accountable for this. No one else agrees with me. Right. Um, this is not going well so far. Uh, a trolley is heading towards five people. You can pull the lever to divide dirt at the other track and your life savings will be destroyed. Okay. Well, we clearly are going to pull the lever. We... You know, our life savings. Yeah, okay. Most people agree with us, but still quite a lot of people disagree. Okay. Uh, trolley is heading towards five people. You can pull the lever to divert it. Sacrificing myself instead. Um, clearly my arms are tied, so I wouldn't be able to pull the lever. I'm just being realistic here. Priceless painting. Okay, I'm definitely diverting it to pull to do the priceless painting. Okay, no one cares. Just take a screenshot. All right. A rich man that offers us 500,000. I mean, that would still be... Then I'd be intentionally killing someone. So, no, this guy, it can run him over and then I can steal his 500,000. Very interesting, though, that that's like a 50-50. Uh, lobsters or a cat? I, I'm sorry, but those lobsters are getting squished. Those lobsters are getting squished. I'm not going to kill the cat. Uh, most people agree. Okay, these people are sleeping, but this guy's awake. Uh, uh, I'm going to say do nothing again. Look, when, when lives are on the line, I don't want to be a part of it. I don't want to be accountable. That's a 50-50. Interesting. Okay, all right. Level 9. Wait, so these five people want to go on the track, and this person is accidentally on the track. Okay, because he tripped on it. It doesn't look like he tripped because he's wrapped up. But um, in that case, we will do nothing because they wanted it for some reason. Leave it to them. So, heading to five people on this one. The lever just speeds up the trolley, which makes it less painful. Do nothing. Absolutely not. I, I wouldn't... Yeah. Wait, what? How do people... I mean, I get what they're saying. Okay, that's... Uh, I wouldn't speed up the trolley to kill them faster. That does not sound right. Okay, you head into one guy. You can pull the levers and direct it to the other track, but you are, then your Amazon package will be late. Okay, well, in that case, do nothing. Okay, I need to get my Amazon package on time. 20% <laughs> of people agree. Oh, that's wild. Oh, no, my best friend is on the track. You can pull the levers and divert it to the other track, killing five strangers instead. What do you do? Um, uh... Uh... uh uh, yeah, no, I'm I'm sorry, best friend. You, you're, you're getting squished. Ah, maybe I should have. I feel, uh, it depends on who my friend would be, actually. Oh, no. A trolley is heading towards five people. You can pull the lever, divert it to the other track. Can one person instead? 
but you you forgot your glasses. Okay, if I forgot my glasses, I'm doing nothing. I have no idea what's happening. It's a 50-50, okay, okay. Second cousins or first cousin? Look, in most situations, I'm doing nothing, okay? Uh, like, if it was already going that way, then I wasn't responsible. All right, I can't be in trouble for that. Oh no, okay. Um, five elderly people or as a baby. Oh no, we're blasting those elderly people. That baby's got more years left than all of them combined. All right, clones. Clones or me? Dude, what? No, hell. I mean, those, damn, we're squishing those clones. We don't need more of me. Wait, okay, temp, what is this? 50% chance of two people. Okay, this is another situation where I do nothing. Unless I can clearly save people's lives and not kill someone intentionally, I am not touching that thing. Trolley is heading towards five sentient robots. Yep, do nothing. You're going down. You're going 85% agree. Okay. Uh, economic damage. Okay, but this... So these are worth 900,000. These are worth 300,000. What do I do? I am doing nothing. I am not responsible for that. That That's big tram train trolley problems. And now for our final level, a trolley is releasing... Oh my god. Okay, this has got global warming here. Um, I can just change it to hit a wall. What do I do? Okay, this is not my problem. Sorry. Um, you know, I, I'm not... I'm not going to be paying for that $300,000 trolley because I drove it into a wall. Thank you very much. Interesting results, though. Anyway, those are weird websites. Bye-bye.